Hey guys, it's the Afro Ninja here. And uh, recently I've been getting a few people asking me about the user interference mod that I use in Guild Wars. And a few other people asking me how do they use text mod or what exactly is text mod. You know, are people who've had problems trying to get text mod to work. So I decided to make a video tutorial to show you how to use text mod where to get it, and where to find the exact same mod that I use in Guild Wars. So alright, let's get started. Okay, so the website you're going to want to be at is the Guild Wars official wiki, and you're going to type in the search box, text mod, and then right here it's going to say text mod can be downloaded here. You're going to click the hyperlink here, and it should download. And once you've downloaded it, you're going to find it on your computer and you're going to open it up. And, and it should look something like this. This is the text mod interface right here. And you'll see right here it says target application. And we'll have a big yellow folder, folder right here. You're going to click this yellow folder. And it's going to ask you for your gw.exe executable file. Now that you should use, that's usually located in your Guild Wars folder. And your Guild Wars folder should be in your program files. Okay. But once you've found it, you're just going to click on gw.exe. And you'll see it has my file path right there and uh, the target application now has the Guild Wars EXE icon but uh, once you've done that these other options right here will become um, able will be, you'll be able to click on them and everything but now you need to find a mod to use with text mod so you're going to want to go back to the Guild Wars wiki and on that text mod page, you're going to scroll down until you find the fact right here. And you're going to look for the question, where can I find mods other people have created? And I'll have a hyperlink right here. And you'll click that. And it'll take you to a bunch of categories where you can download different text mods. And uh, the one you want to click on here, though, is the UI Enhancements. So click on that, and it'll take you to a big list of user interference mods that you can use. This is the one I use right here, but you don't have to. There's a lot of bunch of other ones that you can try, but um, we're just gonna click on the one that I use, and it's gonna take you to it. And you're gonna want to download the latest version. Now, warning, when you click on this link right here, version 4.8200, it's going to take you to some stupid website with st stupid ads that's probably going to talk a lot. And uh, it's going to have a little green download now uh, button, and you just click it and download it. Okay, just letting you guys know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really annoying. But uh, once you've downloaded uh, the mod, you're going to uh, click on this little mini folder right here, right above the red X. And you're going to find that mod that you've downloaded. And it should be in your downloads folder. And it should be right here. You just simply click on it. And it should be under... You see the mod's name right there underneath the package name. And um, once you have the target application and the link to the gw.exe and you have the mod linked to in the package name, then you simply start your Guild Wars by clicking the Run button here on the bottom. And it will start up your Guild Wars with that, um, that mod. And if you have any... If you did everything correctly, you should see your user interference look different. And um, that should be it. But um, 
there's other options here that are in text mod, but I don't even use these. I don't even know what they really are. There's a package build, logging, mode. I just use package but mode. That's what I use. And um, you could load multiple mods at once, but I just um, use the user interference mod. You can use, um, they have a cartography mod, which will um, help you with your cartography which a lot of people use, lots and lots of people. And um, so, I mean, they'll really help you there. And there's also people who think that you could get banned using text mod. I really, you really can't, to be quite honest, because, I mean, it's on the, the wiki. You know, it's, it's, everybody uses it, you know. They would have to ban, like, thousands or thousands, you know, thousands of people, you know, if they were going to, if they were against it, you know, so. But they did, um, I think Guild Wars released a statement saying they do not support text mod though. So if something goes wrong or with your Guild Wars, they can't help you and they won't help you. So be careful with it. Like I said, you run multiple mods, it um, will crash your game if you run multiple ones. But besides that, you should be fine. And that's it. And have fun. Thanks for watching my video.